it's install saturday welcome back we got some goodies from our guys over at xk glow it's a new switch panel for inside the hummer it is a bluetooth uh common negative bridgeable switch panel which we really need uh, we want to be able to utilize all those features as well as Bluetooth. It's kind of cool, right, to use without getting into the truck. So we're going to go in. We're going to take out the old one that we had that just happened to stop working. So coincidentally, I needed this switch. Uh, see how it works, all the functions, go over some of the features for you, and then maybe answer any questions in the, you know, that you have come up. Please check them out. They're great. I think it's back here. Hold on. Got a lot of tires and stuff in the garage. Here we go. Sorry. Everything you need is in the box. I think the only thing it doesn't come with is the bracket, which you can order on their website as well. But usually there's somewhere inside the engine bay you can mount it or wherever you want to do. I'm going to do some pre-leads on it first to make it easier to plug and play, but you can do it however you want. 15 amp per channel, bridgeable to 30. Again, common negative for all your wench needs, uh, small motor compressors, things like that. It's a great safety feature to have in these switches. And the quality, usually great with these guys, and so is customer service. So check them out on the website. If you like the product, obviously let us know. Give us a thumbs up. We should be doing a lot more refreshes soon, so stay tuned to the new show season. We're getting all of them ready for, uh, obviously, November. So let's get into it and start tearing this thing apart. <laughs> Switch is done, it's installed. Looking good. Bluetooth, which is nice, not connected because I'm obviously recording. All my buttons are set up. Here's the cool part about all these buttons. They can be joined together. So if I push, you know, one light, I can have the other lights automatically turned on. Oh, look at this glare on my glasses, there we go. Uh, or not. Wow, it's really bad. Anyways, uh, or you can have it as a source light. So as you, um, like a source switch. So when you turn on like your high beams, the light bar will turn on. Uh, there's so many different features with this thing. It's great. It has a low power draw. So if you see, it notices that your power has been going down, it's gonna stop. Um, what else? Common negative. So I hear a lot of people asking, you know, does it have common negative? It absolutely does. So if you're trying to run anything with a small motor, your wench setup, and you're worried about that, obviously you could throw some sparks, uh, cause an issue with shorting out, the common negative is gonna really lower that chance and make it more efficient, not only for the product, but for your vehicle, right? You don't want the thing burning down while you're trying to dig it out of a hole somewhere. So the common negative piece is probably one of the biggest options that not everybody has, which is great, uh, especially for off-road guys. As you can tell, we do. I mean, it may not look like it, but it's a real roll cage. Yeah, we got some marine speakers back here, but still, it's off-road. Um, the great thing also is it connects to the whole Alpha series. So once you upgrade your system, if you're using all their lights, light bars, you can still turn on and off all that individually with one, as well as individually do the lights. So you can do different colors with everything, or you can set them up in a group. It's very customizable. The reason why we go with XK Glow is just ease of use and quality. Like I said, I had a switch before in here. It worked, it did the job, it was very basic but one of the channels burned out. It wasn't a fuse issue. I don't know what happened. I reached out to them, no feedback. Uh, still waiting, they told me to email somebody, never got a response. I decided, you know what, it's not worth it. Let me hit up my guys at XK Glow. Their products are always great, and if there's ever an issue, they respond, they fix it. Um, 
it's just a great experience to have when you're working with such a large company. So check them out, please. I'm going to go in. I'll show you guys how I have it set up. I pre-wired it with some uh, waterproof connectors, which is great if you ever need to like change anything, disconnect. It's a lot better than actually hardwiring it or even just putting uh, the wires directly into it because you got to feed it. This way the feed is already on the outside. You don't have to stress about it. Easy to install. Very compact for what the command center is. I think you can get an optional bracket for it. I just put it on top of the, the fuse panel box. It's just easier that way for me. In the Hummers, there's not very much room under the hood, which is weird. Um, what else? Uh, you can daisy chain a couple of the channels together. So every channel on this is a 15 amp max. You can combine two to get the 30 if you're running a light bar that maybe has a larger draw, or you can run a relay. I mean, that's another option. It is really safer to do that. as it should right now uh no issues uh i'm excited to use it go drive around tonight show off the lights once it gets dark play with the horn a little bit you know everybody loves that next up is going to be the beast behind me over there this should be the only update for right now we're going to start obviously revamping the build now probably we got about six months left before sema so we'll start doing that uh, we're trying to get both the trucks in a couple other builds as well we'll get the whole team going help always have a blast meet up with everybody again i should be bringing out the flex ramp as well so i'll get a video of that coming soon so check out the instagram savage underscore h2 so you can see us flex again thank you dmax rhino ryan out in uh you know san diego area hooked us up so i want to get on that see what we need to do to uh maybe change any suspension stuff we need to do update for sema i don't know so we do some refreshes on this the ram the fords everything we have in the stables all right guys if you have any questions about what happened today again please put in the comments hit me in on uh, instagram let me know but xk glow is should be your go-to individuals for lighting needs they're great they're bright uh, less power i've never had any issues with them so as far as less power i mean uh, super bright i'm surprised 